A new book set to be released on Monday covers what has been described as the worst school bus accident in Texas history. Next month will be the 30th anniversary of the Alton school bus accident where 21 students died. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Con Mi Gente. The memorial stands as the reminder. It's at the corner of Bryan Road and Mile 5 Line. 21 crosses with blue and pink bows, some of them with an added touch. My cousin's working on documentary on this. Juan hopefully. Carmona started working on his book years ago. In his research, he has visited this site many times. And so we were able to interview some survivors, some witnesses, some reporters, the district attorney, and finally was able to put, you know, um, put this whole story together. The Caliche pit is now almost dry and overgrown with vegetation. A far cry from 30 years ago when the accident occurred, a Dr. Pepper truck hit the school bus, sending it into the water-filled pit. The victims were from 12 to 19 years old. These were kids that were going to Mission Middle School and High School. And it didn't just affect Alton, it, you know, directly, it also affected Mission. I interviewed a Mission school teacher. You know. It was a national story. 21 students drowned because they could not get out of the bus quickly enough. Because the buses our students drive around in today are completely redesigned with what happened at the Alton bus crash. Now we have hatches on the roof, bigger windows, easier to open the sides of the buses to get out. Because back then there was only one way out. I mean, two ways out, the front door and the rear door. There is a park here that was established after the accident, but nowhere will you find a sign that mentions a word about the tragedy. In fact, there was a dispute on whether to even create the park. But you know, the, the fact that people got here so quickly was amazing to me. Neighbors rushing to help, like the man who tied three water hoses together and told survivors to swim toward him. And he's starting getting pulled up, and he talks about how, man, he was thinking, this guy is strong. And when he gets to the top, this man, Roque Sosa, is on a horse. There are many stories about survivors and why Alton became a divided community. The book will, come, will be out on August 26th. You'll probably be able to find it through Barnes & Noble and Amazon. I'm a, I'm a school teacher, and in the end, to me, it's like I just try to picture, and I, I would never want to see what some of those teachers saw, those empty desks. The name of the book is The Alton Bus Crash. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Con Mijan.